Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I share sewing tutorials and inspiration here on Whitney Sews. One thing I really love making is bags and I have shared lots of different bag tutorials over the years on my YouTube channel and on my Facebook page and today I'm going to be sharing another new bag tutorial. It is for a nice basic lined tote bag. It is very beginner friendly and is a project that can be made in a single afternoon. Make sure to hit that like button if you want more tutorials for easy projects. Projects. To make my bag, I chose two lightweight decorator fabrics. They are a little thicker than basic cotton, but not too thick. And I went ahead and pre-washed them to make sure that the dye was set and that if they were going to shrink at all, it would be done before I made the project. For the bag, you will need a total of four body pieces measuring 16 by 16 inches two strap pieces measuring 28 by 4 inches and two stabilizer pieces for the straps. I'll have all of the details as well as step-by-step -step instructions written out on my website and the direct link to the post will be in this video's description box. Start by laying two bag body pieces right sides together matching up all the raw edges. Add craft clips to hold the layers together then sew around the sides and bottom with a half inch seam allowance. Repeat for the lining, matching the pieces up right sides together and clipping. This time sew the sides and bottom but remember to leave a 5 or 6 inch opening in one side for turning the bag through later. Also make sure to backstitch at the beginning and ending of each seam that you sew. This keeps the stitching from coming undone. Here are the bag outer and the bag lining pieces with the opening in the side. Now onto boxing the corners. Put your hand inside and flatten the corner so it forms a V shape with the seam going down toward the center. The seam allowance on the top side and the underside need to go in opposite directions so they can nest together and lay flat. Once everything is lined up, add a couple of craft clips near the corner. Line an acrylic ruler up with the seam line and adjust until the corner of the bag takes up 4 inches along the side of the ruler as shown. Use a pencil or other marking tool to draw a line along the ruler's edge. Add a couple more clips and repeat this process for each corner on the bag outer and the lining. By the way, if you want to pick up any of the supplies that I'm using, you can find them in my Amazon affiliate link in the video description box. Shopping through the link doesn't cost you any extra, but it helps me earn a little bit to support my channel. Sew directly on the marked line on each corner. Then trim off the corners, leaving a half inch seam allowance next to the sewn line. Boxing the corners is what gives the bag depth in addition to height and width. Now onto the straps. Find the textured side of the stabilizer and lay it against the back side of the strap fabric. The stabilizer is cut smaller, so it needs to be centered as nicely as possible. I go over all of this in depth, including the stabilizer I like using in the corresponding blog posts linked below. Set your iron according to the stabilizer instructions and use it to fuse the two together. When using the iron, I'm setting it in one spot giving it several seconds, picking it up, and setting it down in the next spot. I am not sliding it around because that can stretch things out of shape. Once both straps have been fused, begin to fold over the edges toward the inside. Use the edge of the stabilizer as a guide, and as long as you cut it straight and centered it fairly well, you'll get nice, even edges. This is a quick and easy way to make straps that doesn't involve having to turn a tube of fabric right sides out. After both sides are folded over and pressed, fold the entire thing in half, lining up the folded edges and press again. Add craft clips along the open side if needed to keep it all lined up.
Sew down both long sides to close up the open side and to give the strap a really nice look. Turn the bag outer right sides out and we'll get the straps attached. Lay the strap down so the short ends are sticking up just above the top edge of the bag and the strap isn't twisted. Measure so each end is the same distance away from the side seam. I like mine three inches from the side. Clip or pen in place. You can see that the ends of my straps stick up a little past the top. That is to make sure they are securely sewn in and won't rip out easily. After the first strap is in place, flip the bag over and repeat on the other side. Take it to your sewing machine and sew across the strap ends to attach about a quarter inch away from the top edge of the bag. Here's how it looks so far. Your bag lining should still be turned inside out. You want to place the outer inside the lining so that they are right sides together. Match up the side seams and the top edges and clip them together. Sew all the way around the top with a half inch seam allowance. It should look like this and we are almost done. Remember the hole that was left in the side of the lining? Time to reach in and pull the entire bag right sides out through it. Then tuck the seam allowance in at the opening line up the edges and sew a top stitch near the edge to close it up or you can hand sew a ladder stitch if you don't want any visible stitching there. Grab the lining and push it down inside the bag body. Make sure the corners of the lining are sitting correctly in the corners of the outer. Then adjust the top edges so they look nice. I ended up taking it over to my iron and pressing it so the outer fabric actually wraps around the inside just a small amount, giving it a really nice look. Then sew a top stitch all the way around about a quarter inch away from the edge. This is such an easy tote bag to make. It is very beginner friendly and perfect for everything from carrying groceries to library books to projects that you want to take with you somewhere. I hope you give this project a try and if you do, please share a picture and make sure to tag me so that I see the amazing creations that you have made. And if you want some other tote bag tutorials and ideas, I have an entire playlist full of them and you can find it linked right over here to the side. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and until next time, happy sewing.